let's set up the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. All right, so obviously first you gotta accept some terms and conditions. Always note that the ones that say optional, you don't necessarily have to check. I always leave those blank. If you're gonna transfer data from an old phone, this is the time to do it. Although with Samsung phones, you can do it later. In the settings, you can go to transfer data from old device. So if you have your device and you're ready to transfer, select the appropriate prompt, Galaxy or Android device or iPhone or iPad. In this case, I'm just gonna set it up like a brand new phone with no transfer data. So I'm gonna hit set up manually. All right, next we're gonna to connect to a Wi-Fi network. It'll find your appropriate network. I'm gonna to connect to this one here and I've already plugged in my information. Let's hit next. Now, this would be the best time to take your SIM card out of your old phone and put it in your new phone. Now in the box of your phone, you'll find your SIM tool, which looks like this. And you'll pop out the SIM card tray and put in your SIM card and it will register your network. I'm gonna do that later. So we're just gonna hit set up later in settings. All right, now this is a carryover in terms of copying apps or uh, Google accounts or data from an old phone again. You can do this now by hitting next. I'm gonna hit don't copy because I plan to do this later. All right, here we can sign into our Google account and obviously this will link up to all the Google services. So you'll wanna tap in the box, email or phone number and enter your email address. If you're setting it up for a child, select my child and this will allow you to set up some parental controls. I'm setting this up for myself, so I'm just gonna keep it on the default and hit next. Agree to the Google Terms of Service. Okay, next we can set up a PIN passcode. We can program our fingerprint and our facial recognition. I'm gonna set just a basic PIN right here and just make it four zeros. Hit continue. It's telling me that that is not a great pin to use because it's too easy, but I'm just gonna make it that for now. Hit use anyway, press okay. You can obviously change all this later in the settings, so don't worry. This is enabling some certain Google services. I'm just gonna turn these all off for now and hit accept. You can enable Google's backup service as well. I'm gonna opt not to do that for now. Next is telling us about the new Gemini Assistant, which holding down on the power button for one second will trigger your Gemini Assistant. You can also set it up where you can use your voice to trigger it by saying, hey Google. I'm not a big fan of that because the phone is always listening and I don't like that part, but um, holding down the power button is the easiest way to launch the Gemini AI Assistant. Let's hit continue. I'm gonna hit no thanks because I don't want it to set the voice prompts, but you can always set that later up in the settings. Next, you wanna sign into your Samsung account. If you don't have one, this is totally free. Uh, I definitely encourage you to do this because there's a lot of extra Google services that you are able to access when you have a Samsung account. Again, it's free and it just helps to keep all your Samsung data um, linked to one account. Next, we're gonna check the box for the terms of service. Hit more, agree. These are some uh, Samsung services you can also access as well. And let's hit agree. You need to check the region that you are using the phone in. I'm gonna hit other state here. Lastly, you can pick your display type. I'm gonna go with light mode, hit next. And let's see some of the new features. All right, so we have make complex tasks easy with Gemini. We have a new transcribe and summarize calls feature. That's pretty sweet. Listen to web page summaries. That's not that new. Google's had that for a while, but okay. Use writing assistant to help you write and edit. So that's another Gemini AI feature. Remove unwanted sound with the audio eraser. Now I've seen some videos on that. That is pretty cool. I definitely want to check out that a little bit further. Let's see, draw new things into your images, create unique portraits, trans translate calls and more apps, circle to search. All right. If you go to the settings, they always have a tip section where you can find all these features and they'll walk you through how to use them. So this is pretty cool. All right, let's head to our home screen and let's take a look at the phone.
All right, so when we swipe down from the top of the screen, this is one of the new things. The, when you swipe down, you're gonna see your notifications, but you won't see those switches up top. That's when you swipe from the left, looks like this. When you swipe down from the right, this brings up the entire notification panel. So that's one thing that is different. I kind of like it, I kind of don't. Um, if you've used an iPhone before, you'll know that uh, they kind of stole this from iPhone where, again, left side only shows notifications. I wish it still showed the notifications and the switches up top because it's just more convenient for me. This is a cool trick though. If you swipe down, you can swipe to the left and that'll also take you to the notification panel where all your switches are. I do love the new layout. It does look nice. It's refreshed. It's got a funky little look to it. I like it. Now here is our app edge, this little gray bar. If you just swipe into it, this will bring up the app edge. And this is another area to find some of the cool new features. So you have a shortcut to the AI assist, the now brief, that's another new feature. We'll show that in a second. The drawing assistant where you can draw things, you know, and then it'll turn into like the actual object, which is pretty cool. You have your Samsung notes, your gallery. You can customize this menu as well just by hitting the little pencil. This will allow you to add more apps or remove apps from this section. And let's take a look at the now brief. This is a shortcut to basically all the Galaxy AI features. And you can just swipe through to see a list of all the different AI features that are built in. When you swipe up, this will take you to the app drawer, just like before. I wanna show you something here. Here I have the S25. And this is an interesting fun fact. When you swipe up on this phone, it actually goes up and down. It doesn't go left and right, but that's odd. It's up and down here, but on this one, it's still a left and right. I wonder if that's something you can change in the settings. I'll have to look into that. But anyway, one thing I like just right off the bat is the refreshed uh, app icons. You know, that's all Samsung U One UI 7. So this really nice refreshed look. We swipe to the right. You still have your, your Google homepage here with uh, articles and different things that will update as it learns the things that you are interested in. They'll recommend stories and different things for you. And that's about it, guys. Our S25 Ultra is officially set up. Now I wanna point out that this phone, at the filming of this video, is still on pre-order. It's set to launch next week. So if you're thinking about getting this phone, you should try to pre-order it because Samsung is offering great deals in terms of trade-in. So if you trade in your older devices, you're gonna get a little bit more. They usually give more around the launch. You're also gonna get a, a credit to buy accessories as well. So the credit can be anywhere from $50 up to $150, depending on which model you get. If you get the Ultra, I believe they give you a $150 credit for the accessory, which is sweet. And there's discounts on all of the accessories as well. So um, try to pre-order if you can, because you can lock in some additional savings. I'm gonna link to right here an S25 Ultra. So this will take you right to the Samsung website. You can check out all the deals. This phone officially launches on February 7th. And after that, you know, the deals change. So it's always good to try to pre-order so you can get those extra incentives. They always want great sales numbers leading into the launch, all right? So anyway, our phone is set up. We have more videos coming on the S25 Ultra. I have a video coming in a couple of days where I'm gonna put on a screen protector and I'm gonna give a couple away as well. So if you are planning to buy an S25 Ultra, look out for my screen protector video because I'm gonna give a couple away and why buy one if you can just win one from my video. All right, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. Leave a comment down below and let me know if the video was helpful and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.